We are the Impala team. I am Keenan Murphy. And I am Maxwell Hiyama. I'm Shen. I'm Dylan Alleman. Uh, and I'm Charles Sloan. So, have you ever wanted to connect with someone you just recently met, but don't want to go through the hassle of having to ask them for their personal phone number or other uh, identification information, such as account ID or username? With Impala Messaging, you can now message someone simply by knowing their email address. We all know how much of a hassle sending multiple emails back and forth for days can be. But with this app, as long as you and the other person have an account, you can message each other with ease, greatly reducing the stress of the whole process. You can also message multiple people at once in a group chat, whereas with email, every person would have to list every other person to send the email to in order to get the same functionality. Our app also boasts various settings to improve the user's experience, such as team selection, location monitoring, and uh, notification enabling slash disabling. We aim to make life as easy as possible for our users, and we believe that this app is a stepping stone towards that goal. We decided to build our app using Java for the main functionality, uh, as well as Firebase on the back end to keep track of user accounts and data. Uh, we used XML for the layout, uh, and then Android, the Android Studio IDE, uh, Gradle, and Picasso to tie it all together. Okay, so now that you know a little bit about how our app was built and why we built it, um, we're going to go through a little demonstration of how to use it. So if we come to our app page, um, you can see our chat icon right down here with Impala Messaging. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Um, and that's going to go ahead and bring us right to our sign-in screen. Um, so this is what every user will see when they first log into the app. Um, so you have two options from here. If you already have an account, which we don't here, um, you would sign in with your email and password. Um, you would click log in and it would bring you in. Um, for now, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the sign up functionality. So it'll bring you to our create a new account page. Um, and from here, all you need to do is type in your email address, uh, the password that you're going to use to get in and out of your account, and your display name. Um, so just for testing purposes, we'll do demo at uh, email.com. Uh, we'll set our password just as password, um, and our display name will be demo. Now, just to show off some functionality, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the last part of the email address. So we have an invalid email right here. Um, so if I go ahead and cre uh, click create account, it'll tell you that you have an invalid email address. Um, so you need to make sure that you have both the at symbol and some kind of uh, dot something at the end of it. Um, now, if we go ahead and create our account, uh, it'll bring us right to our messaging screen. Um, so if we go ahead and log out just to show you the sign in process. If we come back here, type in our email address that we just used to sign up and our password. Uh, we'll be able to log right back into uh, our home screen right over here. Now, if we go back to our home screen, we do also have forgot password uh, functionality built in. So if any user gets to a point where they forget the password that is associated with their account, um, they can come to the screen, they can type in the email address that is associated with their account and they can get an email. Um, to reset their, their password on the Firebase end. Um, so now I will go ahead and pass it off to Max to show you the demonstration of our messaging functionality. Welcome to the group chat page of Impala Messaging. So I'll be explaining to you the features of this page. So on the left top left, we have the delete button, which will let you go back to the previous page. We have the menu logo on the top right to let the user log out when desired. We have the portrait logo on the top left um, to, so you can select the photo and send it. And then we have the chat box where you can type your text and your message and you can send it with the um, button right here. <clears throat> And then we have the quick buttons right here on the bottom. So you can either go to the settings, help or contacts page quickly. And I'll show you how you can do that. And then in this scenario, we have Jake and Heather. Jake is a freelance web developer and Heather is a nurse practitioner with a medical firm and needs a new website. So Jake meets Heather at the mall and would like Jake to develop a website for her new um, medical firm. And Jake only received her email only because Heather doesn't want 
to give out her information, like her cell phone number. So Jake is getting started with developing the website and needs an idea of what the logo is going to look like. So. Type in right here. I'm gonna text Heather, hey. And ask her how it is. How she wants the logo to look. And as you can see, Jake. Hey, how you see me a picture of what the logo looks like? And then Jake waits on Heather and look, we got a shirt. And now Jake sees what the logo looks like. So now Jake is gonna reply to her and thank her. And also let her know that um, he will send, send her a couple ideas of the homepage layout the next day. Thanks for watching. Hi. I'm Shakun Chen. I'm going to walk you through how to add, edit, and delete contacts on our app. I'm already logged into my user account. To go to my contacts page, just click contacts at the bottom right corner of the screen. All right, here we are. As you can see, I have two existing contacts. To add a new contact, first I need to click this plus button. All right. So our app identifies each user by their unique email address. So make sure you have the right email when adding a new contact. I'm going to do a very quick demonstration. Here's the email. The name. The name can be anything you want. And the phone number. All right. The last step is to add notes. But this is completely optional. And you can add notes or change their display name or phone number later. All right, once you're done, just click Confirm. All right, I have our new user in. Now, when I want to add a contact, say a contact's phone number changed, and you need to change the corresponding information. So first step is to click the contact that you want to edit. All right. And here, you cannot change the email since there's the identifier but you can change their name, their phone number, and also the notes. Right. Once they're done, again, click Confirm. All right, here we go. You can see the change information has been updated. And when you no longer want a contact to be in your contact list, you can delete the contact. And to do this, first click this minus button. And the delete button will pop up for each contact. And just press the delete button for the contact you want to delete. And the contact will be gone. That's all from me. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Dylan Alleman, and I'm part of Team Impala. So for our application, I worked on the settings and help page and also any miscellaneous bugs that we ran into. So to start off, um, I'll show off the help page. So with the help page, there's a multiple buttons that the user can click on, and it'll give them tips and answers to the questions on the buttons. So like, you know, if they wanna know how do they set notifications, they'll press that button and it'll teach them how to do it. How do they change their display name? You press the button, it'll give you an answer there. How to pin important messages, you click, you click that button and it'll also do the same, so on and so forth. Also at the bottom, there's a contact support button 
that the user can press and it'll have an email for the user to click to uh, use and send an email to if they run into any errors or issues with our application, which is impalamessaging at gmail.com. So after that, I'll show off the settings page. In the settings page, there's a multitude of settings that the user can use. So first is the user profile button at the very top. When they click that, the user will be taken to where they can edit their user profile, such as adjusting their username, email, and password. After that, we have the get notifications button, which the user can toggle on and off to set their notifications. After that, we have a theme that the user can change to between dark and light theme. The light theme is a light blue to help if a user prefers using a light theme as opposed to a dark theme. You know, as you see here, it changes the background of every area in the app and including in the help page so it's easier to read. After that, and also you can change back to the dark page. After that, we have the font sizes where you can decrease the font size or increase the font size. If you prefer larger text or smaller text, it's up to you. And you can change it just by pressing those buttons. So yeah, that is my demo. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the features that I implemented into our application. Uh, that brings us to the end of our demonstration. Thank you very, very much for watching, and we hope that you enjoy playing with our app as much as we enjoy building it. Thank you.